Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sport tonight. Come and subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Right, everyone, hope you're all doing fantastic. So I just watched an interview with uh, Tyson Fury with Michelle Joy Phelps on Behind the Gloves, and I'll put that in the description box for you. Now, on this particular video, I want to talk about Tyson Fury's views on Dillian White and the whole UCAD WBC VADA situation, okay? And whenever Tyson Fury speaks, sometimes I'll go, oh, mate, why do you say that for? Other times I'm like, yeah, he's absolutely correct. Now, of course, one thing that uh, Tyson Fury knows about is UCAD, all right? He knows about this. He's got on his record, allegedly, he's got on his record a two-year ban. But he was out of the ring, and a lot of us understand why Tyson Fury took that backdated ban just to end the case, to not prolong it any longer, just so we can get back into the ring, okay? Now, he knows that somewhere along the lines, something wasn't right with his case. He doesn't have, or to my knowledge, he doesn't have too much faith in the British Boxing Border Control or UCAT. And had Tyson Fury had pushed on and not accepted their two-year backdated ban just to get back in the ring, he could have bankrolled the British Boxing Border Control and potentially UCAD as well, because they kept him out of the ring for so long. And as he's a A-list elite boxer, all the money lost, all the money that he could have earned, they would have had to have paid him back. So either way, um, for me, I don't have too much faith when it comes to British Boxing Border Control or UCAD. So what do you say about Dillian White? Well, in this video with Michelle Joy Phelps, it's from about 10 minutes onwards. He goes on for about four or five minutes in this one and he raises a lot of good points. And one of his first things that he says is, is this a stitch up? Has he been set up? Uh, because he knows a thing or two about certain things. Of course, he didn't go into detail, but I think a lot of us know what it is that he's talking about. Now, again, he didn't quite understand how can it be that there's investigation? Because you're innocent until proven guilty, which is what I've been saying for a long time, and many of you guys have as well. And likewise, we've all been saying, then how can it be that the WBC have temporarily suspended Dillian White's position as the interim and mandatory champion or challenger, if you like? Um, but yeah, he's still ranked and he's not suspended. So therefore, why remove those titles from him before they know anything. It doesn't make too much sense. In my opinion, it's because they just don't like Dillian White. They don't want Dillian White to take on Wilder or fight for their title, whatever it may be. That's how I see it. Mauricio Suleiman will, of course, deny that. He'll say it's protocol, it's rules. It's not rules, it's not protocol, okay? This is about, you're making somebody look guilty, maybe even unintentionally, making somebody look guilty before you know what's going on. So, as... Tyson Fury said, but why would they do that? It should be innocent until proven guilty. Why remove his position when he hasn't been suspended? He hasn't been found to be guilty. So from the WBC's point of view, in my opinion, what they've done is ridiculous. Much like the WBA, remove him from the rankings. Again, they're not even involved whatsoever. So how can you remove somebody from the rankings? Listen, WBA or not, um, Dillian was never going to fight for the WBA anyway. He's chasing WBC. So we can say whatever we like about WBA, WBO, IBF, however we want to do it. But it's the WBC. That's the important part. Um, also, Tyson Fury was questioning, saying, but is it a setup? Okay, is it a stitch up or whatever it was, word that he used? Where he says, but so he's passed all VADA throughout the whole camp. Okay, he's passed all UCAD throughout camp, even a couple of days before this alleged finding and a couple of days after this alleged finding. So he's passed. He's even passed after the fight as well, both UCAD and VADA. So if you're passing VADA, but yet UCAD are flagging something, something is a little bit fishy, which is why he's saying, is it possible he's been stitched up? And many of you guys have been saying this, and I've been agreeing with you, that it's entirely possible. Of course, we don't know that to be true, but we can only look at the fact that it would seem odd that Dillian White could pass right the way through camp and there's one, one alleged finding that they did one month before the fight. This one thing, we don't even know what it is. There's plenty of, of uh, speculation. And as Tarson Fury said, well, how do people know about this? Who, who's, who leaked the story? 
And as Michelle said, it was a um, boxing scene. Well, it wasn't boxing scene. It was uh, Thomas Hauser. Okay, many of you guys know him. Uh, but it was him that leaked it via the boxing scene. So the point is that Tyson was trying to get at is, well, how did he know? How did boxing scene know? Who leaked the story? Because he knows a thing or two about privacy. Even right now, we don't know all the details about what happened with him and Huey and how it all came about. All we know is that for an alleged sample that both of these guys got flagged was in February 2015. But it wasn't known until June 2016. So you're talking a 16 month period where it was private. The whole thing was private. We don't even know if Tyson and Huey knew in that period, okay? We don't know, but that's why Tyson Fury is saying, how did they know? Whether Dillian is guilty or innocent, personally, I think he's innocent, but whether he's guilty or innocent, we should know about this. There should be no story out there because it's the policy of UK and British Box Border Control to keep things in house until findings are made. And as no verdict has been put in, Thomas Hauser should not have known about this. You and me should not have known about this. Nobody should have known about this. So somebody somewhere, there's a mole in somebody's camp, potentially, somebody on the British Box Border Control or UCAD. Listen, these are the kind of things that Dillian, I'm sure along with his lawyers, are going to be asking. But as Tyson Fury says, is it possible that this whole thing is a stitch up? As I said, he knows a thing or two about that. They kept this man out of the ring for how long? For an absolute eternity. Potentially some of his prime years right there. Now, was some of it self-inflicted? Maybe, but maybe a lot of it was because of the whole UK British Box Border Control situation. Maybe that was the straw that broke the camel's back with him. Maybe it, it, it was that particular point that made him go over the edge. Maybe, we don't know. But ultimately, Dylan White, he can't say anything. And a lot of people saying, but he just come out and just say, listen, I'm innocent. He's just say, he's not allowed to say anything because of the things that the his legal team are trying to do. He can't say anything. And believe me, Dylan White would have loved nothing more than to sit down with someone and give a statement about what's going on. But he can't. Legally, he can't because he can't jeopardize anything. But anyway, that's Tyson Fury's statement. He questions, is this whole thing a stitch up? Why are the WBC removing his interim and mandatory position if he hasn't been found guilty? It doesn't make any kind of sense why they would do that. And as he says, that nothing seems to go really right for Dillian. There's always something with him, whether it be the WBC holding him back and whatever. Now, we know that Tyson, he's been saying some pretty horrible things about Dillian White um, over the last couple of months. Likewise, Dillian has with Tyson as well. But it's rivalry, as uh, Tyson Fury said. It is uh, just rivalry. But ultimately, what's right is that Dillian should get his world title shot. Whether that be against Wilder, whether that be against if Tyson Fury fights Wilder beforehand and defeats him, he should fight Tyson Fury. Either way, he should get a WBC heavyweight world title shot. No matter who the champion is, he's been overdue this and he's passed Varda. So anybody who says, oh, he shouldn't be doing... He passed Varda. That's the only thing that, that the WBC need to concern themselves with. Anything else is to do with Dillian White's boxing license, to my knowledge. That's the only other thing. He doesn't need a British Boxing Border Control license to go to America and fight Deontay Wilder. He doesn't need that. Anyway, so that is Tyson Fury's statement. Of course, I'd be interested to hear yours. Do you agree with Tyson or are you at least questioning... Is there a possibility that somebody somewhere doesn't like Dylan White, as in being on the board of control or UCAD? If somebody somewhere just doesn't want him there, have tampered with a sample or are doing it just to mess with him? Or is it maybe it's not really Dylan White? They just don't like Eddie Hearn. They don't like how, how Eddie Hearn has been running around and doing certain things. Who knows? Who knows? But um, either way, these people on the British Box Board of Control... As I said before, I see these guys as a bunch of old men walking around in a skin three sizes too big because they're that damn old. That's how I see them. I don't know if they um, if they are old people, but that's that's the impression that I get that these guys are pretty incapable of doing the right thing. Quite why they would allow UCAD to string things out is beyond me. They can talk about rules and protocol all they like. Well, maybe you need to readdress them, okay? Because this is ridiculous, but. 
Anyway, that's Tarzan Fury's statement. Of course, you drop me yours in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Click the thumbs up to this video. Subscribe, of course. And I'll catch you all on the next video.